Welcome back. So glad you're here. Nearing the end for this build, I put in uh, two industrial size storage containers with the materials that we're going to need. Hopefully that's all of them. Uh, we're going to have four industrial storage storage containers to contain the ingots that we're going to be making. I disconnected the piece that we built last time. So we're going to start from basic scratch here. First thing that we're going to do is build our first and we put this blueprint together in a previous video. We're going to put down our wire 10 deck. Okay, let's see. I think that's it. Or is at least as close as it's gonna get. All right, and then we know that this is the output side, this is the input side. So let's start by testing this. Right, because if there's something tragically wrong here, Better to know now. Got some ingots over here. Of course, we're going to have to give you some power. Well, the basics are working. Let's go ahead and hook it up. We will find power for this. Come on. Thank you. All right. Now. With that power, first floor at least should be producing. Oops, something's happening because I can see ingot flying in like crazy. Which means there's room for it to fly in. Let's um, drop the cable for me. Yeah, this will be a chunk that we can work with. Then we'll go back over here and pick up the cable. Maybe a few of these, a couple of those, a tiny bit of that. Try to anticipate our needs for the next set of the build. Okay, well, that's correct. I was thinking about this blueprint. Nope, it's so good. I was worried that I incorrectly did not combine these two levels. I didn't do an internal composition, but I did combine the two levels. So by clicking here, we'll move ingot up. It'll get processed, move over, well, get moved over, drop down and processed. Then move over here, lifted back up, moved out this way which case it should be dropped down. Look at that, I see it's working. I see it's working. But that's it. That's the whole building. It's not stackable. If I wanted to stack this, 
Well, it's not stackable by the very nature that I didn't split this and move it up. Hmm. But I did make it stackable. I am just... It, my default plans are so good sometimes. This is stackable on the front side. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's keep going. We want the... Yes. Then we want to move into blueprint mode. And we need to pick up a chunk. An absolute chunk of industrial beams. Now, the problem with this, you know, besides my accidental awesomeness, I don't know if I'm going to have the height. I don't know if I'm going to have the height necessary to build this thing. Right, because theoretically, I'm trying to build 15 of these. What does that mean? Five, three high? Or three, five high? right on the edge of what I can build and not getting the click for that upper power let's try this again Yeah, this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. It's like just out of reach. Let's just build a magical ladder here. Wait, am I done? I might be done. On this side, at least, goods move up. On this side, goods move down. Maybe. Yeah, I think that's ready to go. Now all I need to do is... <sighs> I need five, I need 50 cable. All right, so let's check that blueprint. We're missing a ton of industrial beams. Oh, missing rotors and reinforced iron plate. Can 
No, I, I don't think I brought over rotors. I definitely have the reinforced iron plate. Yeah, right here. Let me pause for a second. I'll be right back. I'm going to go and grab those rotors. One moment. Hey, I got about a quarter way over there and I realized I don't need rotors for this build. So I'm not quite sure what happened there. Somehow I picked the wrong blueprint, probably. The blueprint I need is only going to take industrial beams. Now we have good stuff coming out right here. We theoretically want 3,000. wire per minute to go into our cable side of this factory. So I think what we'll do is we will we'll just move this to the side a little bit. Okay. Let's see. Let's look for the side with power. And then Step it down. Right. That's a little further than I thought it would be. Let's move it over a little bit. If we make... Do we want 5,000? If we build all five of these as single layer factories, then we will have room for more than 3,000 wire per minute. And that's, of course, if we need to do an upgrade. Wire needs to go in here and cable comes out here. Build another one of those. Assuming we have the, the juice. My thought is just move this out, turn it right on the building. Come on. That way, though. Yes. Oh, yes. Just right in there. Drop some power across the street. Now we're making cable. Look at that, cable's already piling up. Ah, we want to activate the second floor. We need to build some lifts. One from here to here. 
one from here to here. That'll lift up some wire and lift down, lift down. Uh oh. That's not good. Man, the snapping. The snapping on the. Blueprints is brutal. They snap to each other well, but they don't snap to any grid. I'm not sure why they did that. Alright, so now I have cable here. Question is Am I generating enough? I don't like that. I need to move this up some. Try this one more time. I'm probably gonna have to do something in addition to what I'm doing here. Like we're gonna have to collect this wire. But the real point of this part of the test is just to confirm that all the blueprints are working as designed and they are. So great. Now one of the other things we need to do is get these ingots off of the refineries. One, two, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen out of sixty would be one, four. But right here, what we're going to do is rip off all of these products smart splitter way out of oh that could be why i need rotors the world really wants me to get those rotors i don't have any locally let me see if i have some in our Previous construction site storage. Oh no, this doesn't look good. Oh, there's a few. That's probably all I'm going to need. I was tempted to pick up some of the engines, but really don't need those. The build distances sometimes. I, I am trying to go a little too far. I'll admit it. Um, three, six, nine, twelve. Right here. Smart splitter. Oh my goodness. Grab some reinforced iron plate, shall we? Of course, that's all the plate 
We need all of it to make the build happen. We'll make the left side of this kick out. You know what I'll do? We'll... I like this. Just move it over like that. So let me guess. It's not really on the belt. Even though it looks like it's on the belt. And I use control click. It's not really on the belt. There, so our first 12 fully and completely output into this this storage container. Then we'll just do that for the next 12. Three. Six. Nine. Twelve. Right here. Art splitter, control click. I think I did that one correctly. Now we're talking a little distance now. So I th think what I want to do is something like a merge down the line type situation. And then connect to the smart spoiler, please. Go up and out. Connect there. Build the smart splitter. The center is the overflow. And then side will be any. Okay. Goes up, and then we're gonna have to send all this back. Let's see if I went too far. Yep, one too far. I think I'm going to use this bottom row. I'm going to connect it, but right now we're just connecting this top one. We'll connect all the way down we can. And we'll just sort of point those in the right direction. Done two twelves. Why did we do twelve? Thirty seven and a half. Seven point five times twelve. Well, we could have done a little bit more. Seven eighty. 80 divided by 37.5 is 20. I eh, should have done that. Should have done. Should have done 20. Why 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Boy, even that's going to take a while. Let's put a smart splitter on you. Where do we... I think this time I'm just going to merge in a little early. Like, here. And connect you. Here. Tell you we want any on this side and overflow the middle. And we're going to keep with the merge down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that how many we said? Six? Nope. Oh, five. One, two, three, four, five. all here we can give the catch-all access to all the belts so, so far we have three levels high should we go ahead and put that fourth level in? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, ran out of iron rats. Gosh darn it. This is going to be a heck of a run back. I'm going to pause real quick and go get those iron rods. Be right back. All right. Put it back. Picking up a merger. Let's sink it down the line. Or tall. One, two, three.
excuse me, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, four, five. Here's our last connection. What I'm thinking is like, we need to take in this last merger and then at the very least, we want whatever's left. We go back out to the top. Do the third level or the second level? Hit the third level. Not the second level. Right, because the second level is kind of an oddity. And we just haven't connected the belt yet. Couple of those industrial storage containers are already full. Yikes. All right, we need to cut some stuff into the third one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Yeah, if we cut half of these off, that should be a good amount, actually. Just hook that up to the second level. Oh, we already have a good chunk going into the second level. It's the third level. But 
Sorry about this. I shouldn't have changed the order. Oh man, we got stuff going into going into the third level too. have 20 machine doing 37.5 20 machines doing zero oh we could do that all on one belt okay so as usual we've overbuilt problem is is that our current belts won't allow that kind of speed but when we're done and we have max well mark 5 belts Who's to say that that's the max, current max, then we will be overbuilt. Overbuilt. Let's set any to this side and overflow to this side. That should take some stress off of this belt. All right, regardless, at the end of the day, what matters is We have the ingots that we need. One of these buildings is five, well, three levels. So technically this, this perfectly feeds this. Three levels of cable, or I'm sorry, three levels of wire perfectly feeds one level of cable. Let's, um, so how many of these do we put in? One. Let's look at it side by side, just so we don't have to guess. So we've put in three. If I look at the recipe for cable, Oh, it's two to one. This is overbuilt as well. This is overbuilt by like 50%. We want to build 12 more of these. Well, we could get 12 more in pretty easily just by building two more towers of three. And then we could... Well, interesting. The wire does come out up here. Oh, that's going to be cool. I think I'm going to build my last cable deal. I'm going to think this through because I think I've got a cool idea. Regardless, we know we want a bunch more cable, so let's put that in. Encase beams. Then I'm blowing through the encase beams. What else? We need to build three more of these. We need more encase beams. And more cable.
need room for two more of these. I'm sure I need some concrete. I should just go grab it right now. Yeah, I need 580 concrete. Cable factories. Okay. Two more of these. We finished the cable side. Try those yellow up there. I not connected those upper echelon machines? Exactly. I'm gonna have to do some math. It's possible that I actually want. No, yeah, I'm gonna have to do some math. So, at maximum speed, okay, absolute maximum belt speed, I wanna calculate. ingots per machine so each level of this build on the wire side is 10 machines that's 150 input per right at 780 at 780 divided by 150 it's five levels So I theoretically could go up to five levels here and still leave a little bit of room. Now my current belt speed's not gonna allow for that, but we're talking absolutes here for a moment. If I go five levels up, that's 50 machines. Let's look at a 
Sorry, I'm getting a little... Look at cable. If I'm by, if I'm building five cable levels, which is what I have, fifty machines. Fifty machines make. Ew. Fifty machines make fifteen hundred. Yeah, I can't go up that high. Fortunately, this whole thing is on one belt. So the limitation is actually this side. I might be in trouble. 780 divided by 30. Divided by 10. Oh, I'm sad. I'm only supposed to go two levels, two and a half levels up. I've already gone three. The wire isn't going to be able to get out of there without doing some extraordinary work. All right. While we're contemplating that, let's build the rest of these too high, apparently. I'm going to have to keep going back for encased beams. Gotta be more than two. Let's look at that recipe one more time. Wire. If I look at the wire. It's 30 per minute per machine. 30 times 10. Oof. 300 times two is 600. Yeah. Two levels is all I can do. Blueprints, wire. Missing silica. Then I need to pick up a few more encased beam. How many more encased beams do I need? Two thousand. It's kind of a lot. I've got the encased beam factory right here. I just might have to make a couple trips since I'm now freshly loaded down with stuff. Oof, that was only seven hundred. We'll make it so we only have to make one more trip. Still need to make ten of these. Uh, 
Now we're out of cable and concrete. I probably should watch that. Cause one of these days I'm going to drop down and really hurt myself. All right. Give me a second. I'm going to go and pull a bunch more stuff so we can get all this done without running back and forth. One second. Okay. Our back. Let's go ahead and jump right into building here. I think we have enough stuff locally placed to build most, if not all, the rest of the game. All right, so we need some iron plate and we need some iron plate and some case beam. Well, if I add this last little bit of that, then we have all the iron plate we need in our inventory. Hopefully that's enough to build at least one of these and we can pick up some encased beans. Room for two. Boy, am I tempted to build a third floor in all of these. total fail it snapped but it rotated on some I don't understand why the weirdest thing I don't know if I can make this jump shall we try What a bummer. At some point, I'm going to have to sit down and figure out exactly why when you click on something when you're building, it automatically decides to rotate it. I will never quite get it otherwise. Um, I'm going to have to go through and carefully delete all of this so my apologies but one more pause and we're back okay we won't make that mistake again blueprints wire turn it Right there. One more stack of... Two. 
290 concrete. Looks about right. Now that's a factory. Holy moly. Okay, so now we have a couple of interesting problems. One, we got to feed all this stuff with iron ink. Two, we got to feed all of these with... Well, let's see. The interesting thing about this... Good. I mean, as ugly as this would be, I could feed this to here. We don't have to drop this down. That happens in the back. But what is the... What's the juice on five cable factories doing 50 each? Let's see. They want to take in 60. Oh, they want to take in a lot of wire. So it's uh, 60 times 50. This whole system needs fresh wire basically every step of the way. One of these needs two of these. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these. And the seven is 15. Because it's seven times two plus one. It's 15 levels. Each level has 10 instructors in it. Yeah, this is this is the correct amount of stuff to be built, but man. Now we're going to, the simplest way to do this would just connect it all, all right? Let's just introduce a drop.
think we'll just do a simple injection for the rest of this. true I could just connect it directly that's what I'm gonna do I am going to split this all the way down Oh, I moved all of the encased beams upstairs. Finish the build. Basically, we're just trying to feed ingots to this whole monstrosity. It is a monstrosity. Clean that up. Okay, that's looking good. Kind of liking the Dueling buildings, natures of this. Let's connect this to this. That's done. Should do the same thing on this side. Except we should hook it up on the right side of thing. Be the output side. Look this up with a merge down. Which is probably not appropriate.
each one of those is 10, so that's 1,500. We need at least two belts to make this work. Just on the output side, we need two belts. Let's presume one belt to start. And then we'll come out on the... Oh, goodness. Built those in the wrong direction. And these industrial stores are going to be kind of a semi-permanent thing. We want them there now so we can actually... do that again. What's happening? Oh, I didn't merge this correctly. All of these are wrong. So this will be two belts of input sent into those storage containers exclusively to buffer. By dropping this down, we unload the machines that then create more opportunity for cable for us here. I want to know if, is it two or three splitters that lines up with the industrial storage container? That belt's already looking pretty full. 
but let's see what we've got to do. Boy, that wire gets delivered quickly. So what I do here, I connected the output to the input. Oh, look at that. Second factory's making it. Now, this one's not outputting the same amount of wire because I haven't gone around the back yet and connected the second levels. But... It's doing stuff. It's already doing stuff. I mean, right here, we could just put in a... It would be more than enough, I think, if we just stopped any point in... Needs a splitter, actually. but it needs to split out towards us. Oh, it's already locked in to do that. Okay, fine. Then we need to take in the splitter. Right, and then go in there. connect all of these necessarily. But the natural math of this will result in success. This needs to be a merger on top. That's what's going on. Oh, 
What's this? Splitter. Wrong. And splitter wrong. This is a splitter? I'm just gonna assume that's wrong. I'm gonna replace all of these with mergers. Is that turning? I don't I want that to go that way. But wait, that's oh, what am I doing? Try that now. There we go. Just as soon as you add more to that bottom level, we're going to take half of it up. And by the time you can't fit anymore, we're not going to care because... Well, if we force it, though, it's going to slow down everything else. Oh, but that's okay. That just means it'll come out on the bottom level. We'll leave that one alone. As we should. Okay, so now this one is outputting this one then. Did your angle up? Way up. I suddenly feel like I'm in a city dealing with like city related issues. Not sure if that's good or bad. at the end here two of these use one of these whatever's left is set aside for shipping out directionals there we go we'll connect you on the top
Okay. That's done. Now I need to just need to connect the backside connections for all of these. Tempted to jump down there. What are you doing up there? Two of you. I don't want to know. All right. Let's see. Every click that we make that's successful anyway. Is that these water extractors have to work closer and closer to their full potential? But I think right now we have such a backlog that it's going to take a while for it all to get worked through. now are pulling in the good stuff. They're pulling in the wire, working it to make cable. Now we got to make kind of a big deal on this side. I don't even know if this is going to be an appropriate setup. It might be too close. Wait and see. Just confirm some product makes it up to that upper level. Okay. Oh. I set a trap for myself. Figured I might take some damage. He will be to get it done before you die. Ah, missed again. Ooh. Almost missed twice in a row. So close. Can't believe I'm burning through this much in case industrial beam. An insane amount of materials. I 
think I moved all of it upstairs. Which means I've consumed it all. One second, I'm gonna grab the last little bit of beams and then we'll call this video done. One second. And we are back. So I'm just gonna have to give you a little bit of a tour <laughs> of everything that I've done. So basically I hooked up all four of these into the various machine and this is the various buildings, right? So basically I was just injecting, right? So the first one, 50% goes into here. The rest gets injected. If I really wanted to, I'd, I'd come back and make all of this. I'd make these smart splitters. And it's such a shame you can't upgrade these. Yeah. Bummer. So I've added all the copper ingots into the copper wire. Factories. These last two are going straight into storage or for export. And then for both the cable and the wire, I set up some temporary. Awesome sinks. And then on the back side of each of these, I just connected the, you know, we had a couple of connections where we needed to do some lifting and some lowering. That's done as well. And then I did the same for this side. And uh, we've decided that we're going to have a live stream this weekend where we go through and beautify this and some of the other builds just to make them a little prettier but right now it is very functional but it's not very pretty but everything is working let's climb up here and see why this is yellow yeah it's just everything's not fully filled out yet but it's getting there As these other machines fill up, these other machines will follow suit. So the copper, the wire on this side should be pretty, pretty good. So yeah, that, that's where I left off is I was going over here and I was building these in the back here and we've completed all those lifts as well so we're all set we're all done it's all very functional like i said it needs some beautification but as far as like does this work the answer is yes all you need <laughs> all you need is five water extractors, 60 refineries, two Mark II miners that you're later gonna upgrade to three Mark II miners, 150 constructors to make wire, and then another 50 constructors to make cable. And you will have 1500 wire and 1500 cable per minute once you get to mark five level belts until then you just kind of get what you get i'm not going to do those numbers but thanks for hanging out i do appreciate it and i hope to see you at the live stream this friday but if not, no big deal. We'll see you next time.